Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. It's Mr. Jones again, and today I'm going to be going through redeveloping a shanty town. In this case, in Brazil, we're going to be looking at the favelas. All of you will be able to create a table outlining the issues in favelas. Most of you will be able to evaluate strategies for improving favelas, and some of you will be able to select, summarize, and present your chosen strategies in a charity proposal in great detail. So, redeveloping. To develop something is to improve something. You develop your skills in school, you might develop a house. Redeveloping is, it's already been built and we need to make it even better. Okay, so to look at our first two objectives, we've got a list of problems and a list of solutions. In our problems in our favelas we have unreliable electricity, scrap building materials, no sewage pipelines, lack of education and job opportunities, lack of health care, lack of community facilities, a crash or community hall. And we've got a list of solutions on how this would change the favelas, how this would help them redevelop and become a better place to live, improving an individual's quality of life. On our left box, we need to explain why is that a problem. So we have unreliable electricity. Ask yourself, why would that be a problem? If there was unreliable electricity, there'd be difficulty with lighting in the night. What problems can come with this is an increase in crime. There's less opportunity to make food. There's less opportunity to use heat. Electricity becomes essential for a country like us. But any electricity that's possible in these favelas is sacred. Problem, scrap building materials. What's the problem of using that instead of the sticks, uh, the stone and the foundation that we use here in a country like Wales? It's very difficult to come by. It's quite flimsy. It can fall quite easy. These are the kind of problems you'll find. No sewage pipelines. If there's no pipeline to take the sewage away, where is it going to go? The sewage pipelines will then just naturally be the street. This could be full of food waste, human waste, animal waste. Problems you have there is the easier to infect the water supply and easier to spread disease such as cholera. Next is lack of education and job opportunities. Without the education it is more difficult to get yourself a successful job. It's even more difficult because in the favelas there's very few job opportunities. The problems that come with this is people turn into crime, people go in for low paid jobs, people being exploited for work. All these issues base from the education and the need for income. Lack of health care, as I said earlier, disease spreads easily around the area, including cholera. If there is lack of health care, there's no chance to help these people survive. This is why favelas will have a high infant mortality rate, which is death of uh, people aged 0 to 5, they'll have high death rates. There's a lot of chances that diseases that we can get cured in the GP can accident actually take someone's life in these favelas. Lack of community facilities, crash community hall. You don't know your society, your socialising is down to a minimum. You don't have friends, contacts who can help look after your kids. If you are a mother, there is no crash to watch your children while you go to work. So therefore you miss that opportunity. On a brighter note on the right we have solutions. This is where it's a bit more difficult because you need to evaluate. Look at both sides. So solution, individual electricity, supply to homes and businesses, advantages, self-explanatory, there's more use of it, there can be use of internet, there can be use of connectivity, TVs, etc. Disadvantage, individually, this is going to be quite expensive. Affordable building, Advantages, much more sturdy and strong than the scrap building. Disadvantages, who is going to use these items, who is qualified to, how expensive are they going to be, are you able, going to be able to manoeuvre them through the favelas. Underground sewage network, advantages, of course less sewage in the streets would be a good idea, and the health benefits of not getting ill, and probably the smell. The disadvantages, 
how are you going to get it placed? If all these shanty towns and people moved in on these areas, they would have to evacuate their areas to be able to dig up the ground to put it in. Funding to employ a teacher or build a factory. And um, advantages would bring in more high-end jobs, so we bring in a teacher into the area and factory for some low-skilled workers. Disadvantage: Where is this factory going to go? If you send a teacher in, it's not really providing a job, but it is supporting education. Funding for a nurse or a healthcare centre. Again, the advantages would be the advancements in healthcare. People can live longer, lower infant mortality rate. Disadvantage, only so many nurses can go into the favelas. There are a lot of people who need a lot of help and will they be able to reach all of them. A healthcare centre would be very expensive and very difficult to place in a favela. And finally, build a village hall. Again, similar problems with planning. It would be difficult to find enough space, but the advantages, you could place a crash in there, community meetings, and it would make it a much happier place for people to go. There would be opportunities to keep young people off the streets and joining gangs. There would be opportunities for childcare, so both adults can go to work. I've taken a completed version from a previous pupil's book that you can use to reference in yours. What I would like you to do is pause the video and you can either return to the points I've given or use the sheet to help you and could you please draw and fill in this table in your book. Once you're finished with that, please press resume. Okay, welcome back. So, you should have a table now. You've identified problems and you've evaluated some solutions. This is going to be very important for your next task. Our next task is about thinking how can we be sustainable and how can we help the favelas in Brazil. Below this video is an attachment of an improving the quality of life in Rocino, Rio de Janeiro. Three different projects. The Developing Minds Foundation, the Favela Barrao project and Operation Shock of Peace. I would like you to read through the three different projects to get the idea of what is currently going on in these favelas. Have a personal opinion, have a good read and pick which one of you think is the most sustainable and you think this would be the most effective in the favela. Okay, welcome back if you've had a read through them. We're now going to look at your main task from this lesson. We have decided that you are going to be a UK based charity and you are going to de uh, redevelop Hosina. Your budget is 250 for Vela dollars per year. You are going to be spending this 250 per year on improvements for the favela to improve the standard of living and the quality of life. What you will need to do is write down your spending and calculate totals so there is a bit of numeracy. Come up with a charity name. Create a poster for your charity advertising how your charity is going to help. I want you to think slogan, logo, colour scheme, images. And the main part is you need to write a short script in your book to explain what you chose and why. Include an introduction about who you are and explain what you chose and why. Explain how it will help. I can't stress this enough. Please don't say I will improve the drinking water. Okay great, let's go further than that. I will improve the drinking water. This means they don't have to drink dirty water. Okay, so what were the problems with dirty water? This now means that less people will be getting diseases like cholera. Right, good. Can you go even further? This means that people won't have diseases like cholera. This puts less of a stress on the healthcare in the favelas and the nurses can see more people. So it's about that knock on effects that we talked about when we were doing the rainforest work. Okay, try that in your script. So this is the sheet that's available. You'll find this underneath the PowerPoint. I've got some examples, 30 favela dollars, training for one teacher, paint for houses, 10 favela dollars, family planning campaign, 25 favela dollars, you have 250 to spend each year. So that's 250 in year one, 250 in year two. You can't carry any money forward. If you only spend 200 in the first year, 
you can't spend that extra 50 the next year. It needs to be 250 in year 1, 250 in year 2. Planning your developments. I'd recommend doing a simple table like this in your book. So you have year 1 and you'll have the name of the developments. For example, um, community centre, community centre, 35, um, possibility of bringing in a crash so both parents can go to work. Fantastic. Then you add sewerage network here, $75 for Vela Dollars, little reason why. This will help lower disease and provide more clean drinking water and people will not have to uh, leave waste in the streets. Okay, and you can complete that till you reach the total 250. And then you will do the same for the next table. So Basically, what you need to do is the steps here. The main part is the script. Please make sure you explain your points. Also, if you want to push yourself to the higher levels, also talk about some of the options you didn't choose and why, which can be more difficult because they all sound like great ideas. So you want to choose one or two you didn't pick and give a reason why you didn't choose that instead of some that you did. Okay, so any questions, you should be able to access me through Teams or through email. Best of luck, looking forward to reading your scripts and seeing the fantastic ideas that you come up with. Well done, see you soon.